Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday. How are you guys doing? Welcome to Embody Your True Essence with me, Ewen. Today is Step 18 day. It's an Aries day. It's a taking action day. It's Tuesday, September 10th. <laughs> How are you guys feeling today? My feeling's good. I am committed to my health and uh, I'm committed to moving my fascia and moving my energy and I, I feel, yeah, I feel good. Um, one thing I started to do was when I wake up and I go to bathroom and then afterwards, I started to do anti-gravity right away. And, you know, when you're sleeping, your fascia gets tight. And so, and I'm, I, I'm not really a side sleeper. I normally just sleep on <laughs> like, the, like this. So it's uh, my back tends to get tight. So that's what I do. Uh, anti-gravity, I noticed that really helps me opening up my back. Yes. Okay, so let's, um, let's take a look at the, the weather, <laughs> the weather report. Vancouver is cloudy, but I think it's going to be nice today. I'm excited for the day and um, just process uh, what I learned from yesterday. I'm going to read. Okay, so I hope we, the connection is good. <laughs> I'm not quite sure if people can see. So I'm in shadow band, so I, I, I'm wondering if people can even get that notification, but I'm just going to keep going. So today is I become step 18. Action and ego rules the day. You're feeling it's time to put a plan, plan in motion to upgrade your reality, treat the conditions of your life to meet new spiritual standards and lessons learned. The only way to fail is not to try. Hmm. Also, you are ready to define and open up to all relationships differently. This stems from a 10-day intention to change how you treat yourself on the inside. You're carrying out these concepts to real-time relationship. With the moon in Sagittarius, feelings are reflecting on the in details and events of your story and how it's now rewiring. So, today is a day to basically keep moving forward. <laughs> you will not make a mistake. But if you think you make a mistake, the mistake would be not to try. So maybe that's the energy of the day. That's very interesting. Okay, so I'm going to continue. Up, up, and away. Today is the day to begin making changes to your day-to-day -day lifestyle. You spend the entire year becoming someone different on the inside. Now it's time to transform your life into something your heart identifies with. Whatever your life has become, today is the best day to kickstart your makeover. Today is a ruling state. So I, net nine is that I act, I am. It's a ruling state of awareness today, making your ego defensiveness and action energy the predominant force of your awareness. So think about Aries being the first zodiac sign. There's a lot of masculine energy right here. So that's the force of your awareness today. So in other words, your energy may be a force to be reckoned with. Start your day with exercise, yoga, doing housework, or any activity that will channel your male energy into productive output. output. This will prevent you from going too far or making obvious mistakes. I think it's always nice to have the ritual that really works for you. And, you know, whatever, whatever happening outside of your surroundings or the energy of the day, you just keep going. <laughs> and that, that's when consistency um, comes in, right? I think it's whatever you do in life, consistency is super important in showing up for yourself. So in the great grander picture, Today is a day to break ground on your lifestyle makeover, also known as your new reality. The objective is to create the first wave of energy that will initiate your cause. You may have a very practical task to do, such as sign a contract, make a purchase, or write a business plan. 
Taking care of action items like those today will officially begin the manifestation process. So that's a very powerful day. So taking care of action items, those today. So basically you take a, take a concrete action. Yesterday was a decision day, was a Capricorn day, and today is Aries day. It's actually, okay, so based on the decision I made yesterday, and I talk about making decisions align with our heart, so today is a day, maybe signing a contract, make that purchase, write the business plan. It's, if your intentions are not that far along, take a few minutes for personal ceremony with yourself. You can write down the intention, say them out loud three times, or make the declaration of your intentions to a close friend. Simple rituals such as those also intim intimate the manifestation process. I've done this, um, you know, I love going back to my drawing board and what we call paint a picture and write down what we want and what I like to manifest. And some days when I set the intentions, there's definitely the time that I will read what I wrote really like out loud. And that is super important because I'm doing that with a really firm intention. And that way is like, this is the minimum boundary, you know, like it's just setting yourself a boundary. This like minimum or something better. So I, did, I think that is a really powerful place to be. So um, I'm gonna actually do that today. And it's also important to officially end relationships, situations or behavior that do not belong in your future reality the net nine energy will give you the strength and ability to end bad habits. If you end something today, it will be more likely to stick one on another day. So I think, do you have any um, habit that you want to end for good? <laughs> for me, for me, I think I am like really stop feeling bad about myself when I did something that makes people upset. I mean, it's a na human nature, right? <laughs> like, I almost like I said it wrong. Like, I stop putting myself down when people get upset with me for my actions or for my mistakes that I did. And I'm always show up with my good intentions. And I still you know, yet make mistakes, but allowing myself to do that because I'm here to make mistakes and to learn a lesson. So why do I feel bad about this? I think this is where the programming was, right? So one thing I'm really practicing is allowing myself to be okay and feel um, still, you know, loving myself and all of this place and inner peace. And just okay to, just okay to, you know, keep moving, <laughs> keep moving on. So it's a, it's a, it's a really tough, you know, I think there's a level of mistakes that we would make. Sometimes like the mistakes are big and sometimes the mistakes are really subtle and then they were okay with it. Or maybe some mistakes that I made was so huge that this person just keep holding a grudge and that is hard. <laughs> forgive myself for making that mistakes, but also forgive others for having that reaction and holding on to their emotion. But here comes the power of learning that we're no longer responsible for people's emotions, right? So, yes, you know, <laughs> it's always a learning lesson. So now, um, so let's think about the bad habit that we want to break. In each of your stories today, make your move to start your day today and make over. Take the necessary step to move forward on your spiritual journey. You may need to face a fear, end a habit, or do something symbolic. Be sure your heart believes in the direction you are moving. Go forward with your long-term plans for financial investment, production changes, or manifestation goals. This is the best day to begin a long-term project. Hmm. Today's goal is to officially begin your lifestyle makeover. Sign the contract, hold the ceremony, tell people that matter. 
it's important to remind you that many changes in life actually occur from reactions to something. Huh. Instead of initiating. I'm going to read again. It's important to remind you that many changes in life actually occur from reactions to something. Instead of initiating. So it's a, we already have patterns, right? It's not like we're starting something new. It's more like shifting so that we can start doing something different. <laughs> in other words, your opportunity to change a relationship dynamic, for instance, I really want that. <laughs> Maybe when you react to the person instead of initiating something, react to the person. So interact and connect differently than before. That's where our power is. If you have a tough situation in your life with someone or an organization, think ahead of time to how you intend to respond to them, just in case you cross their path today. Uh, that's a really good advice. If you have a tough situation in your life with someone or an, an organization, think ahead of time to how you intend to respond to them. So power is, I, I've been talking about, the power is in responding differently. And uh, power is in showing, just before showing up, you set the intention that this is how I want to feel through this interaction that coming up right now. <laughs> so for me today, I have two uh, Zoom calls right after this. My intention is really about, I want to stay in my power and not showcase, but just be the leader that I'm born to be. <laughs> I think that's a great affirmation. Sit with my you know, strong place, inner love, um, self-love, self-compassion, and um, solid foundation of being my own leader. Every time I interact with people, I show, I show the world that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. So that's a really good one. I'm the solution I seek. I want to feel that I grew from my you know, what I've created for the last few months. And I'm here that I am fully comfortable embodying that leadership that I've built for the last few months. I really love that. I think I went to Austin, Texas with Human Garage and that was March, I think. So it's been, and then I feel like, you know, there's a lot of shift happened at that day and from that trip. And I told myself, I need to start speaking my truth, whether how much I am uncomfortable I can be. <laughs> I'm just going to show up. And then that's like the great place to start is just like speaking my truth. So I'm just going to do that. You know, it doesn't matter who's watching, but thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys watching. But I'm just going to show up. I'm just going to do my thing. And I'm just going to keep showing up. And because if we are not speaking up right now, one will be the good time and there will be no other time. So I'm just going to do that. And then another thing is, okay, I'm taking on coaching program. I am mentoring coaches that come into Human Garage. And I'm just going to keep working on myself. So I am very comfortable leading people. And um, luckily, yesterday was the last day of the season two coaching program. And I felt like people saw my growth. And I, of course, I saw their growth. And at the end, everyone was so confident. We taught each other fashion maneuvers, taking turns. And the instructions that my, you know, the coaches that gave was incredible. They were so comfortable. They were so in their elements and power. And I just really appreciated that, you know? Like, sometimes it doesn't matter what I teach, but I felt like I was able to I was able to embody what I was teaching so that people saw me, the coaches saw me and I appreciated that. So yeah. <laughs> that's the that's a powerful place and I really appreciate that. Yeah. So let's have 
I hope you can hear me. I'm wondering. I just noticed my microphone is a bit far <laughs> than usual. Uh, but I'm just going to rub my hands and do uh, some maneuvers of the day in the morning. Maneuvers of the morning. And I clap my hands, tap into the energy. Today is a brand new day. I definitely feel like there's a lot of timeline, sh timeline quantum shift happening. So if you're feeling like all over the place, like it's totally fine. We're all feeling that energy too. I feel like I started to attract different type of people too. People are coming back and, um, but I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> so let's feel our fascia on our face. And we're going with the flow. So you touch, thank you body, in your eyes. There's nothing to worry about, but we like to worry about things. It's all about love, about attraction. Everything is right thing, right, right time, right place. Can we manifest right time, right place for anything? But I guess that after all, everything is right time, right place. The problem is whether you that you believe that or not. <laughs> so, oh, I'm already feeling better. You as as I'm working with fascia, my fascia reacts so fast, and it's all about practice and feeling into that. And every time you make a change, like, okay, how do I feel? What's the sensation? And so that I actually start to notice the change. I feel like I want to do sinus release. So let's take your right hand and place on the left side of your nose, pin it gently, and take your left hand and stretch these two points like this. Literally feel that stretch. And I'm just gonna move my head side to side, opening up the sinus, breathe through your mouth. Ah, out from the mouth. Two. Three. Your nose. Two, three. I felt really good. <laughs> Sinus release is actually super powerful. You're also working on the eye bags. Uh, <laughs> also, you can breathe through your nose. Okay, let's try the other side. Take your left hand and go into the right side of your nose and stretch the skin, these two point apart. Go like this. And move. Breathe your mouth. Two. Three. Hi, Nighty Nance. <laughs> hey, hey. Hope you can hear me. Let me know if you can hear me. Through your nose. Two. Three. Hmm. Okay. Until a twist. We'll mainly go for temporalis, but the temporalis, the region is huge. And I actually like to grab my head like this and I really like lean into that, lean into my hand with my head. <laughs> so I'm just gonna squeeze my head and twist the right side forward and left side backward. And move anywhere you like. Squeeze your head like a marshmallow. Move around. Fascia like to move slow. Breathe your mouth. Two. Three. Do you know? Two. Three. Ah. I felt good. <laughs> Let's go into the jaw. I love working on my face. Let's do three fingers. Find a TMJ. So this is super important. Let's uh, let's give yourself a little massage. Mm. Let that fascia melt. The fascia melt. It's all about bringing back flow into our body, bringing back our water. So that our thinking is more fluid. 
right? There's nothing inside of our body. There's nothing inside in my thought should be stagnant and too rigid. So as I'm embodying this fluid, fluidity, my intention is make my life more fluid and adaptive. That's where the power is because we are changing so fast and there's nothing to hold on to. What you can hold on to really, you, your, you and your relationship to yourself, right? You love yourself, love yourself more, show more compassion, compassion with yourself, compassion to yourself and be patient and be more loving, be, be more kind. And, you know, um, I always thought that the phrase be kind to yourself is such a cliche and all of that, but it's really about being kind to ourselves. It's uh, loving yourself is being kind to yourself. And that's, there's a lot of power in that. So I tell myself that a lot, every time I miss, make a mistake or every time some people get mad at me or something, if there's, uh, you know, there's some, there's part of us that want everything to be perfect, but no one, no one's perfect. So even like the reaction that people show me because of that action that I did and they were unpleased, but it's like, you know, it's okay. You know, I'll let that go. I'm going to be kind because I don't want to hold on to grudge and making my body tight. That's the whole point, right? Like we are all learning to be more kind, learning to be more fluid because we are all in this together. You never know what other person, other, um, you know, other people are going through. Now, let's squeeze the TMJ, twist the skin right side forward and left side backwards and try to do this like, literally like five times a day <laughs> it will make a huge difference you started to as you re remove your stress like this you started to notice uh notice the patterns that are hurting us hurting our life and prevent us uh, from living the best life that we want to live in <laughs> so breathe your mouth two three your nose, two, three, I felt really good, let's do our ears, put it in, and I like doing the thumb, be careful if you have long nails um, or index, and then you're going to twist the skin right side backwards and left side forward, and open your mouth. Oh, <laughs> lots of things are moving. I need a minute. <laughs> okay, where I'm feeling. You know, um, as a dancer, I love moving and I'm always moving my body, but I am more, I am practicing intentionally about asking myself, okay, how do I feel? I did this action and bring. I did this action that brought me contrast in my body. Okay, how do I feel? Okay, this person says something. How do I feel in my body? <laughs> and I think it's very important to start talking to myself or talking to, her, talking to ourselves like that because we can really start differentiate the stuff that coming up from us or coming from other people. Because sometimes like it's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's just all mashed up and you don't know which one is yours and which one is them anymore theirs anymore and I think there's a lot of power in that yeah oh my god do you dye your hair what do you do if you don't do you mean like my hair is like black or I just put um you know um I found this um oil called I don't even know, maybe I'll post it later. It has like bi biotin and um, rosemary. And I just like put the oil just before that Instagram live. And I just like put, oh, well, you see no grace. Yeah, I don't, 
I mean, I have grace and I have no grace, but um, I mean, the, you can't really see it. There's a light. <laughs> but I don't have a lot of grade to start, but if um, what I decided to do is, um, you know, I can tell when I'm going through a lot of stressful time. I think it's like this is this is my this is my um, this is my theory. <laughs> We're constantly shifting timelines, right? And depending on the intention, also that stress level that you know we're going through and then um yeah thank you so and then um i notice when i'm like really in a stressful state i notice more gray hair than usual you guys feel that and then when i'm in a calmer state or you know going coming back from retreat just really taking my time like eating good food and eating good thoughts and <laughs> i see less and I think there's a lot of truth in that. I think, you know, think about millions of timelines. I think, I think it's possible to tap into, like we all have freedom, freedom of choice. But if you don't allow yourself to pick that timeline that you deserve, you just settle for less. And that is the truth. And we don't even know how much, how much, uh, how much uh, we settle for less. And so everything starts from realization, whether that's your manifestation of our money or your career or gray hair. <laughs> so what I started to actually do is, you know, I preach moving fascia, the power of moving fascia, but, but I really like, you know, like I, I, I put embody your true essence, like embody, this is the name of the Instagram live show. Like I really want to embody what I preach. So I got myself biotin because I heard that it's so good for my hair. Because there are two parts to hair, right? Whether you're noticing gray hair or you're noticing that hair folds. <laughs> and, uh, you know, as a human garage fashion maneuvers coach, I teach um, people to take silica, minerals, and vitamins because those three are super important, not only the hydration, but for your hair and skin. And it has helped me, but at the end of it, it doesn't really matter if you still stress and if you still have the toxic patterns or toxic patterns, like, you know, how you tell yourself that self-narrative, that's the, that's the key, right? When something happens or when you're going through some hard time, you keep telling yourself something and that something is so harmful to your body and mind and that's, that's what we manifest. And then we all, you know, I go back and forth and make mistakes. And then, you know, next thing I try to do better, right? <laughs> so um, it's a lot to do with, like, pay attention. But pay attention and giving that, like, pay attention to that pattern. But also pay attention to the body that you want to fix. <laughs> say, talking to the body. I felt a little tightness for the last three days or so right here. It's like, this is my left arm, so it's like feminine side, right? Okay, what's baggage of what I'm carrying on to? <laughs> but, um, so it's good to analyze that. Um, I am more aware what's going on in my body when I have the sensation. But at the same time, <clears throat> so I am paying attention mindfully and notice, try to understand what is this trying to tell me. But the second thing is, okay, what, what can I do? How can I move my body to actually release, release that tension, right? And that's when, that, um, that's when my expertise comes. Like I'm working on my body. I know how to move. And I know now with the human garage modality, I know how to help people because I know how to help myself. But there's a lot of depth to that, right? Like working on my body, okay. Let's do I do this and so that it's like, okay, it helps. But I'm also at the same time, I think, you know, you'll be loved. I really appreciate your comments. Um, I see no grace. It's not like I had a lot of grace to start. <laughs> but I think, I think what you noticed was um, when I don't put anything on my hair, I have a lot of baby hair. Like I'm Asian. So how the hair grows, it's like, it really stick out like my baby hair goes like this 
So if you put like an oil and it calms down, and because on the Instagram, you know, you just don't notice much, you know. But also with the lighting, you you can't really tell. That's the truth. So yeah, that's the interesting part. <laughs> but I think rosemary oil is super good for your hair and your skin. And uh, what I do is just stop moving. I love exploring my own fascia. And think about layers of fascia, have 10 layers, right? So it's easy to move the outside layers of fascia. So 10 layers, so outside layers will be like the first one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> um, maybe one, two, three. And it's so easy to move the layers of fascia. And there's a mid layers of fascia. And the internal layers of fascia connected to bones and muscle. Those are really hard to move. So obviously, physically, with the intensity of how much you want to push your fascia, then you connect in different layers of fascia too. Are there fascia in the scalp? Scalp too? Yeah, everywhere. So fascia is everywhere. It's outside. It's also inside. It's your structure that holds everything. So including muscles, bones, ligaments, organs, ligaments, did I say a ligament second time? Uh, <laughs> lymph, lymph nodes. Everything exists inside of the fascia. And it's your big giant wave. So not only I say that, can I actually feel that inside of my body? And if I start to go through, there's a stickiness that you can find. If you literally physically fascia touch the skin, so moving the scalp, moving the skin around the scalp, you notice there's some part that is don't like to move much. And fascia likes to move slowly, fascia like to feel safe. So basically try to expand the fascia in 3D. This way, this way, that way, and then moving around. So I think it's, at the end of it, it doesn't really, I mean, you know, like taking supplements, all that stuff works too. But at the end of it, it's really about loving yourself, loving our body, loving the parts of ourself that needs more improvement. <laughs> and if you're feeling that, oh, I, I, I have like a lot of hair falling or, you know, my, I have eczema, this or that, it, that's when you need to pay attention. What do you want me to see? Because when you stretch the fascia, nutrients can go through, they're more flow. We're just physically open that up, right? So that things that need to go flow more, including that blood circulation, right? So everything is here. So yeah, there's a lot of like playing. <laughs> and that's gonna be part of uh, my Fascial face glow, uh, facelift class are coming up. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to make the program. Um, I have some ideas. I want to do it like, uh, I want to do it like um, a Zoom class too, but I'm also like, a, like a, a program that people can purchase. I think that will be awesome. Yeah, yeah, fascia is everywhere. So I top 18 times to pick a card for everyone. And the card that I picked is look for the sign and synchronicities. What is meant for you won't miss you, so look for the signs. Isn't it ironic that as I'm writing this, ironic by Alanis Mori said, started playing, that is life's magic at its finest. Oftentimes, our spiritual journey of self discovery can be confusing, confusing. Confusing, I can't. Confusing and even intimidating when venturing into the unknown. You know, I think we feel that a lot, right? Confusing. I don't know why I can't say confused. Confusing and even intimidating when venturing into the unknown. Our spirit guides send us sign and synchronicities to catch our attention and remind us we are exactly where we are meant to be. Children describe synchronicity as meaningful coincidences where two or more signs that occurred randomly were also connected by meaning, not by cause. 
Do you ever see repeating numbers like 1111, 222, 444, 777? These repeating angel numbers show up when you guides are trying to get your attention. Each number has its own special meaning, like keep your thought positive when you see 1111. Animals and nature often show up with a deep significance and spiritual meaning. So, that's, I mean, like, in you know, signs are everywhere, right? I notice things. Uh, I live in this apartment. It's 999-999 Seymour Street. And uh, yesterday was 9, September 9. And um, it was very powerful. I think, um, I think we, me and my partner, picked this spot to transform. And so in order for us to transform, we need to, you know, kill, <laughs> we need to kill a part of ourselves. <laughs> that is not longer serving us so um the energy is so different from the last place last place i lived there for like good seven years and um and then last one year my partner moved in and after one year he wanted to just change so we looked for a place and then here we are here and um yeah it's it's a journey right and i i am Libra, I'm very uncomfortable with conflicts and fighting and all of that. But I think all the relationship or anything that are meant to be somehow, you know, whatever that we go through, our conflict or fight, those things are so uncomfortable at first. But I feel like it's definitely, it's definitely making making our relationship stronger i also like to set the intention whatever meant to stay whatever conflict that may be uh occur in the future present past whatever happened it help us strengthen our relationship rather than you know pulling us apart and i think that's a lot to do with our intentions too it's like what do you want to do and every time we have opportunity even including conflicts or mistakes like what's our intention i want everything to be um everything to serve me well <laughs> for my highest good yeah yogi love 74 i agree with that that there is growth right yeah so with that we, if we practice a belief system every single day, whatever comes up to us, even including the mistakes and you have a reaction or maybe someone's not happy with us and uh, whatever you felt, it's not on me and it's not on, it's on them. It's okay. It's all right. We're just going through that. Differentiating what's mine and what's others. At the same time, I'm setting the intention, okay, I'm going to do this like powerful intention right now. So if you want to do it with me, right hand on your heart, left hand on the top of your head, imagining energy circulates, heart and brain, heart and brain. I am, um, sorry, I smacked my cat, <laughs> microphone. I set the intention that whatever comes up to my life, it's helping me strengthening my belief system and my relationship that are meant to stay in my life. Moving forward, I set that intention that whatever comes up to my life, whether that's, you know, whatever comes up, any opportunities, any mistakes, any conflict, though some, you know, those things can be uncomfortable at first. I just know that anything, any relationship, any opportunity that are meant for me using those opportunities and strengthen itself <laughs> I don't know about that English but my point is I am setting the intention that anything that meant to stay in my life will be strengthened with the opportunities conflict uh, mistakes so that is a very powerful place to be because I can feel relaxed, whatever happens, even the mistakes, even the conflict. If someone's not happy with me or even if I'm not happy with them, 
it's like okay somehow we have to go through that okay <laughs> and whatever meant to stay and whatever meant to stay it's just like that's letting god you know like if that's a surrender letting god works magic magic for us but at the same time i think any relationship is over when you feel it's over so if you don't feel it's over even with the conflict just just let it be doing its own thing maybe like we needed that little spice here and there <laughs> but because of the little spice in there we we assure we were able to strengthen our bond relationship because of that it created the opportunity to speak our truth created the opportunities to be more vulnerable and open so i honor that i honor that one thing that i happened yesterday <laughs> just remember so all is well all is well that's a powerful place to be yeah do you guys have any questions Thank you guys for being here. Every live is so different. I just realized that I forgot to put that uh, notification on that on that, on my bio. But uh, this is called Embody Your True Essence, and uh, it's basically I'm speaking meditation time. But I also move my fascia during class, and then talk about my life around fascia and um, astrology, so that I can learn more about myself and showing up and speaking my truth so thank you guys for being here i will come back tomorrow but i um i know that gary's gonna be on live gary from kim garage gonna be on live at 8 a.m so probably like maybe just after after 9 uh 8 a.m pst so i'm in the pacific standard time so probably like i'm gonna start the live as soon as gary finishes <laughs> so probably like you know if his live is one hour then i'll start at 9 a.m pst the same time the exact time uh or a little bit late maybe half an hour half an hour late we'll, we'll see but um thank you guys for being here i love showing up for myself and uh, and co-created with people who are watching and also if you're watching a recording i also really appreciate you know taking time to watch what i have to say um, it's about co-creation, it's about collaborations and I know that I'm moving forward and I know that I'm, you know, I'm shifting. I know that I'm tapping into, you know, my higher power. <laughs> I trust that and whoever watching this and you are also tapping into that. Let's, uh, you know, use this powerful uh, eclipse type of energy and to quantum shift like ending bad habits for good and so think about that one thing that i stop is putting myself down from other people's reactions i hold on to that it's like protect myself like i instead of constricting and compressing myself try to protect i love myself it's no longer about that i don't need that kind of protection in my body in my perception anymore i am here to create and this is my inner power this is my inner peace I am forever uh, radically safe and protected. I am here for a purpose and I'm here to shine my own light. So let's set that powerful intention and showing up and have a great day today and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.